What's up everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm Anna and today I'm gonna be making a candle. Yay! <laughs> Come have fun with us and don't forget to subscribe. For those of you who are new here, hi, welcome and please subscribe to this channel. Uh, which, by the way, it's a bucket list channel, in case you didn't know. Dedicated to Rick and mine, a bucket list of 101 goals and dreams that we hope to accomplish in our lifetime. Rick, by the way, is here with me. He's, he's behind the camera. He's behind you right there. Hello! <laughs> and one of those goals, for me in particular, is to make a candle. Because I love candles. Scented candles, to be more specific. But I want to make my own. So, I don't know how to make a candle, but uh, I'm going to be making one. So, Anna, before we get started, of course, oh, yes. you just said that this is a goal for you in particular. For those who don't know, the list has some goals that are just for one of us, not the both of us. Yes. But I'm still here to support you. Oh, thank you. In your endeavor. Uh, and but, you're here to help me if I need help, right? Uh, maybe. <laughs> but can you tell me why a candle? Why do you want to make a candle? Why is that on the list? Because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. It's just because I really like candles and I've seen so many different, uh, especially videos on YouTube, but also like, you know, blog posts and stuff like this about how to make your own candle. And I thought it's like such an exciting thing to do. I don't know. <laughs> and I wanted to try it. So let's see if I fail or not. I will start with the ingredients for the candle. First of all, we have candle wax ecological soy candle wax to be more specific that I got from Sunrise Botanics. This is new. I haven't even opened it yet and I got it specifically for this purpose. And then we have wicks or a wick, a long thread thing that burns in the middle of the candle. Um, some essential oils because we want to make scented candles and they need to smell nice. So essential oils and I also have this thingy over here um, because yes the goal is to make a candle but I'm actually gonna make two of them so these are some dried peels orange peels dried orange peels I guess is what I would call them that I've let soak in a carrier oil and hopefully it will smell like orange I'm not sure it will work but the internet told me I can do that. I'm not following a, a recipe in particular. I just looked up a bunch of different websites and a bunch of different recipes. And it's very simple actually. You're supposed to melt the wax, add the essential oils or your own mix of something that smells nice. Um, and then pour it in here and then you let it solidify. And there you have it. It's a candle. Where do you put the rope thing? Before you put the wax in. Yeah, the rope thing goes in before. Well, it's not part of the perfume part of candle, which is what interests me the most. Um, so the first part, as I said, will be to melt the wax. The wax, you're supposed to melt it in either a hot steam bath or a water bath. Um, I, I'm not in front of a stove right now. I'm guessing it's much easier to do it in front of a stove because it's just faster because the water stays hot. But I've just poured some really hot water into this bowl and I put the glass in the middle and then I'm going to put the wax inside the glass mold, candle mold. I'm not sure what, a, the candle recipient thing. Um, and hopefully it will melt. And there are no quantities really. You just put as much as you need to fill your mold. So I am... Um, you know, melting the wax right now. Uh, and it's, it's starting to melt really quickly, which is good. And I'm just mixing it so that it melts faster, I guess. So, Rick, tell me. Yeah? What do you think about uh, scented candles? Uh, they're scented and they're uh, candles. And I hear that sometimes they burn. Do you like them? I have nothing against them, yeah, sure. Do you have a favorite... Uh, scented candle scent um july afternoon rain <laughs> seems to be melting well uh yeah it's it's pretty much it's all like it's not perfectly liquid yet uh so it needs to melt some more but it's getting there 
And it's pretty fast. 75 years later. Okay, so I have melted the wax. I'm keeping it uh, warm right now. And before I move on to the next step, I want to mix my essential oil with the carrier oil. I'm only gonna put a little bit of oil. I don't know how much a little bit is. I'm gonna just like, I measure it. Um, I think I'll go with lavender. So I added some of my um, jojoba oil and I'm going to add two or three drops of lavender essential oil, no more. Ooh, okay, this smells, that's good. So let's bring in the candle wax. So here we have them. The wax is all liquidy inside, which is great. So what now? So um, second part, is it? The third part is to mix the essential oil and the carrier oil into one of the recipients and my special orange peel mix into the other recipient. So let's, let's mix the stuff. Let's do the trick. Let's make the magic happen. I'm going to start with the lavender one. So I just poured in the lavender essential oil, three drops diluted into one fifteenth of a cup of jojoba oil. I'm not sure about the, the, the quantities or the percentages. I'm just, I'm just going by the eye. And I don't know, I think maybe I should mix it in to make sure it's evenly distributed, maybe. Now that I mixed it into the, the wax too, I can barely feel the, the smell of the essential oil. The thing is that in my experience, if you play with essential oils and you add even like one drop too much, it will be way too much, you know? I'm only gonna add two more drops. One, two. There you go. So it's five drops in total. It smells like wax combined with some artificial smell of chemicals. So it's a candle. Yay! You did it. That's perfect. That's what I was going for. Okay, this one is mixed. Uh, last step is to put in the wick. So it should be like considerably taller than the recipient because I'm supposed to have enough a bit left to secure it at the top. So I think like uh, twice about. And how is it going to stick in there? It's all liquid. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea actually because I got this one that's like just the, the string that I'm cutting myself. But in the videos that I saw, people buy those that have the metal thing at the bottom that you just like um, glue to the bottom of your recipient. But I couldn't find those. So what are you doing there? You keep dipping it in and out. Yeah, so um, because the wax, you know, when it's in like a thin layer, it hardens quickly. That will make the, the wig, the thread, like stay straight rather than just bend in the liquid when I put it in. I think I'm smart. Not sure. I'm not sure it will work, but I think I'm smart. So that's what I saw people do. Like they just turn it like this on a stick and then they dip it in and then the stick will just keep it up straight, you know? Oh, there you go. I, I'm, I'm pretty smart, I know. It worked, okay? It's not perfect. It's not really perfectly in the middle, like at the bottom there, it kind of bends to one side, I can see it. But hey, I don't care. There's the first one. Now we move on to the second one. We'll do the same thing. So this one is even better. It's more in the middle. I think it's because it just got caught in the pillies that are on the bottom. So now I have to wait for them to solidify. Um, just spoiler alert, I have no idea how long this will take. So whenever it's done, I will be back and I will tell you how long I had to wait for it. Here we are about one hour later.
later, more or less. Um, and the wax is it hardened? I feel like it's still a tiny bit soft, you know. I think that obviously if I leave it overnight, it will get completely hard, like actual candles. Um, but I think now it's good enough to cut the wig and maybe light it up and see if it smells nice. So here it is. First of all, they look nice. I don't know, they look like candles, I guess, so that's good. This one, now that it's, um, it's completely cooled down and hardened, it does smell a little bit like lavender. So I think when I, when I light it up, maybe it will, you will actually feel the lavender smell. I'm not sure. This one has pretty much no scent. I, I don't smell the orange scent, but I also don't smell the, um, you know, the wax, I guess. But I really like what it looks like. And I like that actually some of the orange peels uh, are kind of like on the top and you can see them a little bit through the, the glass here and there. They're not all, most of them are at the bottom, obviously. Um, but there are a few here and there that you can see and it looks nice. So let's start with the lavender one. It works! Look at this! I mean, it hasn't even reached the wax yet. But you made a candle. I made a candle. It looks like a candle. It burns like a candle. It's doing its candle job. <laughs> right? I think, I don't know what to tell you, but I don't really smell anything. What do you think? Does it smell like anything? Not really, no. But hey, it's still a candle, you know? It's lighting up the room. I guess. So it does most of the job of a candle. Exactly. Except that it's not really that much scented. Maybe, like, when it burns down more, you will feel more. I don't know. I'm just being hopeful. Yeah. But, I mean, in terms of your goal, you did achieve. Yeah, I did make a candle. Yeah. Two of them, actually. So I will definitely try this again. I have to tell you that. I actually want to get a nice scented candle. And I know that you can also put like um, food coloring and stuff like this in the candle to make it even look prettier. I don't really care much about that. I want it to smell nice. So I will try it again and um, hopefully I'll succeed in the future. But until then, I made a candle. Really proud of it. Look at it. It's burning. It's so cute. The tiny candle. So yeah, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Leave it in the comment section below. Tell me what should I have done to make this candle actually smell like lavender. Um, and don't forget to give the thumbs up to this video if you liked it. And subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to be notified next time when we drop a new video. This channel, don't forget, is not just about whatever it is that I did here today. It's a bucket list channel in which Rick and I try to accomplish the goals and dreams that are on our bucket list. And there are so many different ones. They include things like watching movies and cooking, self-growth, learning new things. Um, and we make videos about all of them. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow us through our adventures. Once again, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Make a candle. Yeah. <laughs> um, very different. Very different, right? It is. And it's not yours anymore. It's mine now. Yeah. So I decided I want to do this because, you know, I feel like being uh, at home, Mm -hmm. or like kind of forced to stay inside so long it makes me you know want to do things that I really didn't think much about before like making things for myself um, and making a candle is one of those things you know it's like it's nice it's cute it smells nice and I love candles like I like to put a candle on my desk when I'm studying or when I'm doing whatever else and frankly all my candles in the house are gone like I, I finished them mm. yeah I thought hey why not make one for myself? I can do that. I yeah. could, probably, hopefully. I'll try. <laughs> Should be fun. You'll see it in the video. Mm -hmm. <laughs>